The SOP manual comes in two parts. The individual SOP contains instructions for creating each of the procedures your company will use. The SOP manual template is meant to be used to bring the individual SOPs into a cohesive document. This lets you assign different SOPs to different managers to help speed up your development. The SOP manual template includes three SOPs within it. These are creating an SOP, adding an SOP to the manual, and decommissioning an SOP. For some industries, you'll need to follow regulations on certain procedures. Search online for the rules for your industry and make sure you read and understand them so that you can write compliant SOPs. It's a good idea to make a list of all the different SOPs you think you'll need before you start writing them. Using a project management program like Trello can help you to make a checklist and to keep track of your progress. Follow the instructions in each of the different sections of the template to complete the writing. We recommend separating your SOPs into different manuals for each department. It can help to use a numbering system to arrange the individual SOPs within each manual as well. For example, the administrative SOPs might be numbered something like this, where the first part of the number represents the first three letters of the department and the numbers help keep them in sequence. This can make assembling the finished manual a little quicker. Follow the included SOP titled Adding an SOP to the Manual for each SOP you wish to include. Click into the definition section at the top of the new SOP you just added and restart the numbering. Check that the formatting is consistent throughout the document. Look for differences in font, size, spacing, or other formatting issues. Update the table of contents and export the document to a PDF. Set up a Google Drive folder for each department's SOP manual, then add the PDF you've exported into the new folder. Right-click on the document you've added, then click Share. Open the Advanced Options and check the box to disable printing, downloading, or copying for users with view-only access. Once you've set your sharing permissions, you can add users one at a time using their emails. Be sure to grant view-only access. If you need an extra hand developing your SOPs, give us a call or email us today. Check out the blog section of our website for more in-depth tips for your business. Thanks for watching.